reaching out, not prejudging based on party or where in the country you're from or any of these other things, saying, let's serve. It is that spirit of service above self that I will bring to the White House, both to unify our country and to be able to work with leaders in our country around this common ideal and principle of putting service to the people of our country ahead of politics, ahead of profits, staying focused on putting service above self. You talked a lot in your uh, speech tonight about um, you know foreign policy kind of uh, a focus on that needs to happen before we can take care of all, you know things at home. Yeah. Sometimes, um, I guess how you know, how's that been received uh, as you travel around Isle? Um, you know, I know people here have a lot of internal issues uh, on their minds. So, True. Yeah. Um, uh, the the message that I'm bringing about um, working to end this new Cold War and nuclear arms race. Uh, ending these uh, counterproductive regime change wars and bringing our taxpayer dollars back towards serving the needs of our people is actually a message that uh, resonates with people from all across party lines. Democrats, Republicans, independents, libertarians here uh, today. Uh, people who represent the diversity within our political system. Uh, recognizing we can agree to disagree on other issues, but seeing that this is the central and most important issue as it relates to the job, the most important responsibility the president has to serve as commander in chief. Right. And you know, once um, once some of those things are addressed, uh, you know, here in the here in Iowa, we're getting hammered by uh, you know, climate change and different uh, impacts from that. Like maybe people on the coasts don't realize that yeah, the middle of America is also. Yeah. Um, you know, what's the What's the next thing that you start to work on as far as that goes? You know, it's, it's always hard to answer this question because um, there are so many important issues that we need to be able to, to kind of tackle, not do one issue for the first year and the second one in the next year. Um, we've got to be able to do more than one thing at a time. I know healthcare is an issue that's top of mind for most folks, especially those who are living paycheck to paycheck and who are fearful of that you know, medical emergency or loved one falling sick that they won't be able to afford to get them the care that they need. And that just, that shouldn't exist here in this country. Uh, we already pay far more for health care than any other country in the world, but we're still seeing worse outcomes. We are still seeing so many people. Every single day I meet people who can't afford the insulin, people who are on Medicare and private insurance, and they still can't afford to get the medicine they need. That just speaks to the need to get the crony capitalism out of our health care system. Uh, make sure, as president, uh, big insurance and big pharma will have no seat at the table as we are crafting our legislation to bring about real reform to our health care system that would basically provide quality health care for every single American automatically. We all pay into it, similar to how we all already pay into Medicare now, uh, while still uh, bringing down the cost of health care, expanding its reach, and if folks, you know, they want to supplement that or they want to uh, purchase private insurance on their own or through their employer, then, then they're free to do so. Uh, but that does not detract or take away at all from our ability to ensure quality health care for everyone. Uh, protection of our environment, addressing the climate problem that's before us is a central issue uh, to the safety and well-being of our people, both in the environmental threats that we face, but also in the fact that, that there are a lot of communities in this country that don't have clean water to drink. And they have poisonous, toxic water coming out of the water fountain or out of the tap. Uh, basic infrastructure needs that have to do with clean water, clean air, and making sure that we've got a safe community, a safe place for not only us, but our kids and their kids and generations to come.